Topic historical novels listed in chronological order Topic Rome as a kingdom If you know of works set in the pre-Republican era, please expand this section. Founding Fathers 1959 by Alfred Duggan. Originally titled Children of the Wolf, this novel tells the story of King Romulus and the founding of Rome through the eyes of a variety of characters who come to the new city. Roma 2007 by Stephen Saylor. According to the author's website, the book covers part of Rome's early history. The Seven Kings of Rome series, The Arms of Quirinus 2005, The Scent of Hyacinth 2005, The Warrior's Dance 2008 by Sherry Seibert Goff Topic Early Republic Before 264 BC If you know of works set in the Early Republic, please expand this section. Roma, published March 6, 2007, by Stephen Saylor. According to the author's website, the book covers part of Rome's early history. The Wedding Shroud, published September 2010 by Elizabeth Storrs. This book is set on the cusp of the 5th and 4th centuries BC, about a Roman girl married to an Etruscan man in the events leading up to the war between Rome and Ve. The great Roman general Marcus Furius Camillus is featured. The Etruscan by Mika Waltari. Part of the story is set on the first few years of the Republic. Traitor's Legion Ace G 532, 1963, by J. Scotland, a swashbuckler about a disgraced legion, set in Hannibal's time. Topic Middle Republic 264 BC to 133 BC If you know of works set in the Middle Republic, please expand this section. Roma, published March 6, 2007, by Stephen Saylor. According to the author's website, the book covers part of Rome's Republican history. Scipio, a novel, published March 1998 by Ross Leckie, Scottish writer. This is the second book in a loose trilogy about the Second Punic War. Scipio Trilogy by Santiago Postegio The Punic Wars General Publius Cornelius Scipio Africanus, El Hio del Consul Las Legiones Malditas La Traicion de Roma of Merchants and Heroes, published 2008 by Paul Waters. Set at the end of the 3rd century BC, about the life of a fictional Roman called Marcus. In the novel Marcus becomes involved in the war against Philip V of Macedon, which was led by Titus Quinctius Flamininus, who later became consul and is a major character in the story. The Shield of Rome, published 2011 by William Kelso, 216 BC. The novel is set during Rome's finest hour after the Battle of Cannae when Hannibal threatens the very existence of the Republic. The Fortune of Carthage, published 2012 by William Kelso, 207 BC. The novel is set during the Second Punic War and covers Hasdrubal Barca's attempt to link up with the Carthaginian army of his brother Hannibal. Numancia by José Luis Corral 2nd century BC, Numantia topic Late Republic after 132 BC Viriato by João Aguiar Late 2nd, early 1st century BC, Viriathus Alberics the Celt, Books 1 and 2 2014-2015 by Albert Neuer, as Julius Caesar's territory is threatened, he invades Gaul. Attracted to Roman institutions, Alberic survives the war and is elected a magistrate. Covers the years 59 BC to 43 BC. The Bow of Heaven 2011 by Andrew Levkoff, a novel of events leading up to the Battle of Carhe, and the triumvir responsible for one of the greatest defeats suffered by Republican Rome, Marcus Licinius Crassus Young Caesar 1958 by Rex Warner Imperium and Lustrum novel by Robert Harris, the first two volumes of a trilogy of fictionalized biography told by his slave, later freedman, Tiro depicting Cicero's rise to the consulship in 63 BC and subsequent role in the final days of the Republic. A Pillar of Iron 1965, by Taylor Caldwell, a fictionalized biography of Cicero. Imperial Caesar 1960, also by Rex Warner The Ides of March 1948, by Thornton Wilder, culminating in Caesar's assassination. The Key 1988, The Door in the Wall 1994, The Lock 2002, by Benita Kane Jaro Catalan 2007, by Brandon Winningham Barbarians in the Republic, The Long Journey to Rome 2005, by Scar 1 Caesar, Anthony by Alan Massey Freedom, Farewell, by Phyllis Bentley. The Roma Sub Rosa series by Stephen Saylor is set in the later years of the Republic and the beginning of the Augustan period. Roma, published March 6, 2007, by Stephen Saylor. According to the author's website, the book covers part of Rome's early history. 
The Emperor Series 2003 to 2013 by Con Igolden, Julius Caesar's Life Spartacus 1951 by Howard Fast about the historic slave revolt led by Spartacus around 71 BCE 10th Legion, Battle Born 2015 by Ben Soden the first book in a series based on a fictional group of Roman legionary anti-heroes who joined the 10th Legion in Hispania culminating in the beginnings of the Helvetian campaigns. The Last King, Rome's Greatest Enemy 2005 by Michael Curtis Ford. The Career of Mithridates VI 134-63 BC The Masters of Rome series by Colleen McCullough. Beginning before the birth of Julius Caesar to after his death, it details the self-immolation of the Roman Republic. Spartacus by Howard Fast Spartacus by Louis Grassic Gibbon Three's Company 1958 by Alfred Duggan. The career of Lepidus, triumvir with Octavian and Marcus Antonius after the death of Julius Caesar. Winter Quarters 1956 by Alfred Duggan. Two Gauls in the time of Julius Caesar, one of whom is under a curse from the mother goddess, whose worship he finds throughout the Roman world. The Conquered by Naomi Mitchison 1923. Gaul and the Gallic Wars 1st century BC Beric the Briton, a story of the Roman invasion 1893 by G. A. Henty Imperial Caesar 1960 also by Rex Warner Marius Mules 2009 by S. J. A. Turney. Fictionalized account of Caesar's Gallic Wars from the point of view of a fictional legate. Series ongoing at 10 books to 2017 Marching with Caesar series by R. W. Peak A mostly accurate fiction that takes place during the rise of Julius Caesar, with his first campaign in Gaul, onwards and beyond his life, from the perspective of a soldier as he rises through the ranks Topic Early, High Empire 27 BC to 192 AD He Luz en Casa de Publio Fama by Juan Mignana Barcino 60s AD Someday Never Comes by M. K. K. M. An Imaginary Life by David Malov. A fictional account of the poet Ovid's exile from Rome. The Quest for the Lost Roman Legions by Tony Clun, Battle of the Teutoburg Forest, with his account of his discovery of the battlefield Persona non grata, Terra Incognita, Medicus and Caveat Emptor, a series of mysteries featuring the reluctant sleuth. Gaius Petraeus Russo by Ruth Downey, set around 120 AD. Three Legions series by Rosemary Sutcliffe set in Roman Britain c. 130 AD. The three novels consist of The Eagle of the Ninth 1954, The Silver Branch 1957, and The Lantern Bearers 1959. The three were first collected in one volume as Three Legions in 1980. Empire published August 31, 2010, by Stephen Saylor. The book follows two families through Rome's imperial history, from the reign of Augustus to the reign of Hadrian. The sequel to Roma. Topic the Julio-Claudian dynasty The Nero Prediction by Humphrey Knipe The Roman 1964 by Mika Waltari The Tribune, a novel of ancient Rome by Patrick Larkin Augustus by John Williams Augustus, Tiberius, Caligula and Nero's heirs by Alan Massey Empire, the novel of Imperial Rome by Stephen Saylor Let the Emperor Speak, a novel of Caesar Augustus by Alan Massey, Doubleday and Company, Inc., New York, 1987 first published in Great Britain in 1986 by the Bodley Head as Augustus. Also by this author, Caesar, Anthony, Tiberius, Caligula and Nero's heirs. Pretender by Lion Feuchtwanger Feast of Sorrow by Crystal King 2017 about Roman gourmand Marcus Gavius Apicius books about early Christians or the Christ include, Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ 1880 by Lou Wallace, famously made into a film starring Charlton Heston, set in the reign of Tiberius in Judea, the Mediterranean, and Rome. Epilogues carry the story into the reign of Nero I Am a Barbarian 1967, written 1941, by Edgar Rice Burroughs, the fictionalized memoirs of Caligula's slave. A Voice in the Wind 1994, by Francine Rivers, the story of Hadassah, a Christian slave taken from Jerusalem and taken to Rome in the time of Titus and his father Mark of the Lion Trilogy Book One and Echo in the Darkness 1995, by Francine Rivers, the continuing story of Hadassah and Marcus. Mark of the Lion Trilogy Book Two, As Sure as the Dawn 1995 by Francine Rivers, the continuing story of Atreides. Mark of the Lion Trilogy Book Three, The Centurion's Wife 2009 by Davis Bunn, Jeanette O.K.E. Life for an Early Christian Woman and Her Marriage to a Roman Soldier. Acts of Faith Book One, The Hidden Flame 2009 by Davis Bunn, Jeanette O.K.E. Acts of Faith Book Two, The Damascus Way 2010 by Davis Bunn, Jeanette O.K.E. Acts of Faith Book Three, The Seventh Season 1965 by Emmanuel of Samaria, features a meeting between Saint Andrew and Nero. 
The Robe 1942, by Lloyd C. Douglas, set in the same period as Ben-Hur, like Ben-Hur, more famous as a film, books about Claudius are set in his reign include, I, Claudius and its sequel, Claudius the God by Robert Graves. The classic and influential dramatized account of the life of the Emperor Claudius, made into a popular TV series see below. The Eagle series by Nigerian-born British novelist Simon Scarrow. The first book under the Eagle part of the Eagle series was published 2000 by Simon Scarrow. Story of Roman Invasion of Britain, featuring a young Vespasian. Other books in the series include The Eagle's Conquest 2001 set in 42 AD introducing Boudicca at the end, When the Eagle Hunts 2002 set in 44 AD. Other books in the series include The Eagle and the Wolves 2003, The Eagle's Prey 2004, The Eagle's Prophecy 2005, The Eagle in the Sand 2006, and the forthcoming Centurion January 2008. Books set in Nero's reign include, Barak the Briton, A Story of the Roman Invasion 1893 by G. A. Henty, The Story of a Romanized Briton Captured as a Rebel and Sent to Rome as a Gladiator Quo Vadis 1895-1896, by Henrik Sienkiewicz set in the reign of Nero in 64 AD. The Flames of Rome by Paul L. Mayer A Song for Nero 2003 by Tom Holt, writing as Thomas Holt. Letters from the Realms of Nero 2007 by George Capo, Story of British Slave Girl in Household of Seneca Rubies of the Viper 2010 by Martha Marks, interwoven stories of a Roman woman who inherits a fortune when her brother is murdered and a Greek slave she inherits as part of the estate, set in AD 53-56. Nero, The Bloody Poet by Dezo Kashtolani The Ides of April by Mary Ray, part of the Roman Empire sequence. Imperial Governor 1968, reprinted 2002, George Shipway, The Icenii Revolt under Boudicca. The Roman 1964 by Mika Waltari. The Cleft by Doris Lessing is a book supposedly written by an historian during Nero's reign. Topic. The Flavian Dynasty. Josephus Trilogy 1959, by Lion Feuchtwanger about Flavius Josephus, but set in ancient Rome during reign of Vespasianus and Titus. In the Shadow of Tyranny. 2013, the first novel by Chris Westcott tells the story of Gaius whose fate and fortune is aligned to the reigns of Vespasian, Titus and the tyranny of Domitian. The Course of Honor 1998, the first novel by Lindsay Davis later author of the Marcus Didius Falco Mysteries, which also take place during the reign on Vespasianus narrates the history of Vespasian's imperial freedwoman mistress Antonia Sinus. The Light Bearer 1994, by Donna Gillespie tells the story of a Germanic female warrior who becomes a gladiator in Rome in the reign of Domitian. Mistress of Rome by Kate Quinn is the story of a young Jewish slave who rises to become the mistress of Emperor Domitian. Daughters of Rome by Kate Quinn is set during the year of four emperors and ends with the rise of Vespasian. Trajan Trilogy by Santiago Postegio Trajan Life Los Asesinos del Emperador Domitian Death Cerso Maximo Trajan's Dacian Wars The Last Days of Pompeii by E.G. Bulwer-Lytton Pompeii by Robert Harris, tells the story of Pompeii and the volcano Vesuvius during the reign of Titus. The Veteran of Rome series by William Kelso tells the story of a Roman military family in Roman Britain from 83 AD to 106 AD. In the Shadow of Tyranny, by Chris Westcott set in the reigns of Vespasian, Titus and Domitian. The Jew of Rome, by Lion Feuchtwanger. Topic. The Nervan Antonian Ulpio Aelia dynasty. Empress of the Seven Hills by Kate Quinn is set during the reign of Trajan. Lady of the Eternal City by Kate Quinn is set during the reign of Hadrian. The Equinox 1966 by Carol Sailor, of Rome in the time of Commodus. Memoirs of Hadrian 1951 by Marguerite Yorsnar. The Emperor by Georg Ebers, another fictitious biography of Hadrian. A God Strolling in the Cool of the Evening 1994 by Mario de Carvalho, set mainly in Roman Lusitania Romanique 2000 by Codex Regius, a series of six novels set mainly on both sides of the Upper Germanic Limes Topic. Middle Empire 193 AD to 293 AD 
Family Favorites 1960, by Alfred Duggan, a tale of court life under the teenage emperor Elagabalus, is recounted by his personal bodyguard. Warrior of Rome series by historian Harry Sidebottom, takes place in the years 238-264, mostly from 256-264, six books so far published. Iron and Rust also by historian Harry Sidebottom, takes place before the Warrior of Rome series. Topic. Late Empire, West 293 AD to 457 AD. The Saints' Day Deaths, by Albert Neuer, 2000, set in ancient Mainz, AD. 406, citizens are found murdered on their namesake's feast day and in the same grisly manner the saint was martyred. Who is doing this, why, and who will be next? The Secundus Papyrus by Albert Neuer, 2003, a Gatorius and Arcadia mystery. AD 439, terms of a last will and testament of Christ will bring chaos to the Roman world. What did Christ leave and to whom, is it genuine, what happened to it? The Cybeline Conspiracy by Albert Neuer, 2005, a Gatorius and Arcadia mystery. AD 440, two products smuggled into Italy from China could change the course of Western history. What are they and what happened to them? Death at Pergamum by Albert Neuer, 2013, a Getorius and Arcadia mystery. AD 440, a woman minister stages a bizarre Egypto-Christian resurrection on the throne of Satan to discredit a pagan physician at the Asclepian healing shrine. Unholy Sepulchre by Albert Neuer, 2014, a Getorius and Arcadia mystery. AD 440, a body found in Jerusalem's Holy Sepulchre leads to Arcadia's abduction by a cult member, where a Bedouin warlord will sell her to the highest bidder. The Kashat Deception by Albert Neuer, 2015, a Getorius and Arcadia mystery. Prologue. AD 1, story AD 441, a papyrus concealed in a Kushite prince's mummy reveals a youthful Jesus raised in an Egyptian tradition of diviners and healers. If genuine, Orthodox Christianity is threatened. The Young Julian by Thomas J., Ph.D. Hairston Helena by Evelyn Waugh, follows the quest of the Empress Helena, a Christian and the mother of Emperor Constantine to uncover the remains of the cross upon which Christ was crucified. Julian 1964 by Gore Vidal, fictionalized biography of the Emperor Julian the Apostate, who tried to revive paganism The Last Legion, a novel by Valerio Massimo Manfredi, fictionalized story of the Emperor Romulus Augustulus and what might have happened to his surviving retinue. Eagle in the Snow 1970 by Wallace Bream, set in Britannia and Germania in the late 4th and early 5th century, features a Mithraic Roman general. The Little Emperors 1951 by Alfred Duggan. A Succession of Coups in Late Roman Britain. Gods and Legions, a novel of the Roman Empire 2002 by Michael Curtis Ford The Sword of Attila, a novel of the Last Years of Rome 2005 by Michael Curtis Ford The Fall of Rome, a novel of a World Lost 2007 by Michael Curtis Ford Raptor 1993 by Gary Jennings is an historical novel set in the late 5th and early 6th centuries. It purports to be the memoirs of an Ostrogoth, Thorn, who has a secret. Threshold of Fire, a novel of 5th century Rome 1966 by Hella Haas Legionary 2011 by Gordon Doherty Legionary, Viper of the North 2012 by Gordon Doherty Legionary, Land of the Sacred Fire 2013 by Gordon Doherty Legionary, The Scourge of Thracia 2015 by Gordon Doherty Legionary, Gods and Emperors 2015 by Gordon Doherty Legionary, Empire of Shades 2017 by Gordon Doherty Legionary, The Blood Road 2018 by Gordon Doherty Embers of Empire the Veiled Assassin 2013 by QV Hunter Espionage Adventure Series set during reigns of Constantius II and Julian the Apostate Embers of Empire, Usurpers 2013 by QV Hunter Embers of Empire, The Back Door to Hell 2013 by QV Hunter Embers of Empire, The Wolves of Ambition 2015 by QV Hunter Embers of Empire, The Deadly Caesar 2015 by QV Hunter Embers of Empire, The Burning Stakes 2016 by QV Hunter Topic, Byzantine Empire 457 1453 AD Anna of Byzantium 1999 Belisaire Belisarius series Count Belisarius 1938 by Robert Graves set in the 6th century in the reign of Justinian the Dancing Bear 1972 by Peter Dickinson Young Adult Justinian a novel by H N Turtle Tob Harry Turtledove August 1998 The Paleologian Dynasty 
The Rise and Fall of Byzantium Roma Eterna 2003, by Robert Silverberg A Struggle for Rome 1876, by Felix Dan There Will Be Time Tarant Lo Blanche finished posthumously by Marty Joan de Galba, published 1490, by Jonat Martorell Up the Line 1969, by Robert Silverberg You with the Roses, What Are You Selling? 1966 a novel by James Wellard, fictionalized biography of the Empress Theodora Strategos, Born in the Borderlands 2011, by Gordon Doherty Strategos Rise of the Golden Heart 2011 by Gordon Doherty Strategos, Island in the Storm 2011 by Gordon Doherty Topic Unknown period Aventura nel primo secolo by Paolo Manelli Sand of the Arena by James Duffy in the Army of Marcus Batalius by David M. Ross 68 AD by D.G. Bellinger Three's Company, Winter Quarters, Conscience of the King, The Little Emperors and Family Favorites by Alfred Duggan Domitia and Domitian by David Corson Games of Venus by Sylvia Schultz Antonia by Brenda Jagger The Virgin's Tale by Sherry Smith Den of Wolves by Luke Devonish Nest of Vipers by Luke Devonish The Tribune, a novel of ancient Rome by Patrick Larkin Hadrian's Wall, a novel by William Dietrich The Centurion, a novel 1986 by Jan de Hartig The Nero Prediction by Humphrey Knipe Topic Detective Fiction Search the Seven Hills, The Kiranal Hill Affair, 1987, by Barbara Hambly, The Roma Sub Rosa Series, 1991 to 2012, by Stephen Saylor, Starts with Roman Blood, 1991. The books cover the period 92 BC to 46 BC. The Marcus Didius Falco series by Lindsay Davis starts with the Silver Pigs, set in the reign of Vespasian. The SPQR series by John Maddox Roberts. The I. Claudia series of novels by Marilyn Todd featuring her picaresque heroine Claudia Seferius The Publius Aurelius series by Danila Comastri Montanari The Marcus Corvinus series by David Wishart Roman Justice, SPQR, Too Roman to Handle, by Anne Hart The Roman Mysteries Young Adults Detective, Drama series by Caroline Lawrence The Keys Trilogy by German author Henry Winterfeld, Keys East Ein Dummkopf Keys is an Idiot, Keys Get Ein Licht Auf Keys has an Inspiration, and Keys in Der Klem Keys in a Fix the first part was published in English with the alternate title Detectives in Togas. The second was published in English with the alternate title Mystery of the Roman Ransom. The third Princess, a Septimus Severus Quistus Roman mystery by Philip Boast Rubies of the Viper 2010 by Martha Marks. A Roman woman sets out to uncover the identity of her brother's murderer. The Eagle series by Simon Scarrow see above. The Germanicus Mosaic series by Rosemary Rowe, set in later Roman Britain topic Science fiction, time travel novels Caesar's Bicycle 1997, Timeline Wars series by John Barnes The Green Bronze Mirror 1966, by Lynn Ellison Young Adult, set in Reign of Nero Aria Marcella 1852, by Théophile Gautier set in 79 AD in Pompeii Household Gods 1999, by Judith Tarr and Harry Turtledove set in the Reign of Marcus Aurelius The Time Travel Traveling Cat and the Roman Eagle 2001 by Julia Jarman Toss of the Coin Time Rangers 1998 by Rob Childs in Daniel Godfrey's New Pompeii Titan Books 2016 The population of ancient Pompeii is transported through time to the present day and into a replica of their town Topic <laughs> <laughs> Alternate History The following alternate history novels are set in fictional universes where Rome's struggle with Carthago went differently. The Seven Hills 2005 by John Maddox Roberts. Alejandro y Las Aguila de Roma by Javier Negrete. Alexander the Great doesn't die in Babylon and goes on to Italy to fight Rome. Delenda Est by Poole Anderson. Lest Darkness Fall 1939 by L. Sprague de Camp, a time-traveling American alters history, set in 535 AD. Agent of Byzantium by Harry Turtledove set in an alternate 14th century with no Islam. Hannibal's Children 2002 and its sequel The Seven Hills by John Maddox Roberts. A victorious Hannibal sends all the Romans into exile, but they found a new city and their descendants return for vengeance. The following alternate history novels are set in fictional universes where the Roman Empire never fell, and has endured to the present day. Romanitas 2005, by Sophia McDougall Rome Burning 2006, sequel to Romanitas, by Sophia McDougall Roma Eterna, a 2003 novel by Robert Silverberg Warlords of Utopia by Lance Parkin Gunpowder Empire by Harry Turtledove The Aquiliad 1983, by Somtau Sakaritkal. Circa 50 AD
a light-hearted novel in which Roman legions discover America, battle the Aztecs, encounter Bigfoot, and drive off flying saucers. Ebus 2002, by Scott McKay. Romans return to a modern-day Earth to retake it from alien invaders who exiled them centuries ago and imposed a strange form of Christianity. The Germanicus Trilogy, a collection of books by Kirk Mitchell. Emperor 2006, by Stephen Baxter. After a Celtic chieftain obeys an ancient prophecy, and sides with the invaders, the history of Roman Britain takes a different path. First in a series. Topic. Comic books The Adventures of Alex 1948 now series by Jacques Martin of which some titles are set in Rome and the ancient world. This series has a spin-off, called The Travels of Alex, that gives illustrated information on famous places and empires of the ancient world during the Roman era. Asterix 1959 now series by René Gachini stories and Albert Uderzo illustrations. A tiny village in Gaul holds out against the Roman army, and its doughtiest warriors meet all the famous Romans. Marina 1997 now series by Jean Defoe and Philippe Delaby La Fleo des Dieux 2000 to 2006 series by Valerie Mangan and Alexa Gadjic. Science fiction set in a remote future. Topic: <laughs> Movies. <laughs> 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 Quo Vadis, U.S. 1951 director Mervyn Leroy. The Robe, U.S. 1953 director Henry Coster. Demetrius and the Gladiators, U.S. 1954 director Delmer Daves, sequel to The Robe. Jupiter's Darling, U.S. 1955 director George Sidney, based on a play by Robert E. Sherwood. Ben Hur, U.S. 1959 director William Wyler. Spartacus, U.S. 1960 director Stanley Kubrick King of Kings, U.S. 1961 director Nicholas Ray Cleopatra, U.S. 1963 director Joseph L. Mankiewicz The Fall of the Roman Empire, U.S. 1964 director Anthony Mann The Greatest Story Ever Told, U.S. 1965 director George Stevens a Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum, U.S. 1966 Director Richard Lester Fellini Satirican, Italy 1969 Director Federico Fellini Jesus Christ Superstar, U.S. 1973 Director Norman Jewison Sebastian, U.K. 1976 Director Derek Jarman Caligula, U.S. 1979 Director Tinto Brass Monty Python's Life of Brian, UK 1979 Director Terry Jones History of the World Part 1 US 1981 Director Mel Brooks The Last Temptation of Christ, US 1988 Director Martin Scorsese Titus, US 1999 Director Julie Taymor Gladiator, US 2000 Director Ridley Scott Quo Vadis, Polish, US 2001 director Jerzy Kowalerowicz, remake of 1951 film King Arthur, U.S. 2004 director Antoine Fuqua The Passion of the Christ, U.S. 2004 director Mel Gibson The Nativity Story, U.S. 2006 director Catherine Hardwick Agora, Spain 2009 director Alejandro Amenabar Centurion, U.K. 2010 director Neil Marshall the Eagle, UK 2011 director Kevin MacDonald Topic. Plays Joseph Addison Cato Albert Camus Caligula Pierre Cornet Cinna Henrik Ibsen Emperor and Galilean Ben Jonson Sejanus, His Fall Heinrich von Kleist Die Hermannschlacht William Shakespeare Titus Andronicus Julius Caesar Antony and Cleopatra Coriolanus Cymbeline Robert Sherwood The Road to Rome 1927, on which a little-known 1955 film Jupiter's Darling was based. Stephen Sondheim A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum Topic. Television 
I, Claudius Julius Caesar Minigeries by Uli Adele Masada Mystery Science Theater 3000 part of season 8 Pompeii, The Last Day a dramatized documentary The Roman Holidays Rome Spartacus miniseries by Robert Dornhelm director Spartacus, Blood and Sand Up Pompeii Bread and Circuses Star Trek, the original series Topic. Video games The Caesar video games series Centurion, Defender of Rome Circus Maximus, Chariot Wars Europa Universalis, Rome Gladiator, Sword of Vengeance Colosseum, Road to Freedom Legion Arena Rome, Total War Total War, Rome II Rome, Pathway to Power Shadow of Rome Rise, Son of Rome Topic. Works inspired by Roman history, or by works of fiction and non-fiction about Rome Topic. Science fiction Empire of the Atom, by A. E. Van Vogt, translates Graves' novel about Claudius above into a science fiction context. The Foundation series by Isaac Asimov, about the fall of a galactic empire, is derived from Gibbon's decline and fall of the Roman Empire. Dominic Flandry series by Poole Anderson, a space empire similarly inspired by Gibbon's history and by Asimov is decaying and about to collapse into a long night of barbarism, a heroic secret agent fights to stave off this fate. Julian Comstock by Robert Charles Wilson, about a post-apocalyptic America transformed into a neo-Roman empire, and a high-born youth who, like Julian the Apostate, fights the power of the Church. Bread and Circuses Star Trek, the original series Tarzan and the Lost Empire by Edgar Rice Burroughs, a surviving fragment of the Roman Empire is discovered hidden in a corner of 20th-century Africa. In Philip K. Dick's Vallis ancient Rome is superimposed over the present California in the 20th century and the far future world of the android Crydmia River to reveal the Empire, a supra or trans-temporal constant. Furthermore, it is often repeated that the Empire never fell. Also the novel's protagonist is described as living in two spacetime continua with one of the personalities presently living in ancient Rome. Ancient Rome is also described as to breaking through into the modern world and real time, is speculated as to having ceased in 70 AD with Roman times still being present. Topic. Comic books Leading comics, in the 1940s, a series called Nero Fox, about a funny animal named Nero Fox, who was Emperor of Rome, was published as a backup series in this comic title. Trigon Empire was a science fiction comic series telling of adventures on the planet Electon with many similarities to the Roman Empire. Topic. See also Fiction set in the Roman Empire Fiction set in Ancient Greece List of fictional Romans List of historical fiction by time period Topic. References Topic. External links Fictional Rome The Detective and the Toga – Roman Mysteries